India's emergence in the League of Global Economies is backed by the recently released Doing Business Report 2019 issued by World Bank Group, where India has catapulted itself 53 points in the last two years to join the club of top 100 countries. Today, it stands at the 77th spot, a steep jump from 130 in 2017 in the ease of doing business rankings. And in trading across borders, it has attained the 80th position in 2019 from a distant 146 in 2018. How did this happen? With the GDP growing over 7% in the past years, India can be rated among the best performing economies in the world. India's international merchandise trade has ranged between 700 to 800 billion US dollars. For a country which was on the way to become the world's third largest economy by purchasing power parity, the EODB ranking of above 100 was clearly not a happy situation. Action had to be taken in a concerted manner. Reform measures needed to be holistic in nature and spanning the entire spectrum of activities, influencing businesses from factory or warehouse to destination and vice versa. GST, a single unified tax system for goods and services, came into being on 1st July 2017, subsuming more than 17 major taxes to put to rest the problems faced by businesses due to multiple tax authorities. Every taxpayer now has to deal with a single tax authority. Implementation of GST meant simpler and faster flow of goods across the country. A single document The e-way bill has been adopted replacing multiple forms and permits for a country wide movement of goods for both inter and intra state trade from 16th June 2018 Secondly customs clearances presented complex challenges of a different nature border movement and trade regulation by its very nature involved multiple agencies this required filling up of different forms and applications and submissions to different agencies which was cumbersome and time taking and added to the transaction cost there was thus a need for coordinated action by border agencies for best results the national committee on trade facilitation with its three tiered composition and with representative from trade and various government agencies headed by the cabinet secretary has been set up to identify and address bottlenecks in clearances single window interface for facilitating trade swift The customs single window was implemented to enable filing of clearance documents at a single integrated online platform for different agencies. Swift enables online permission from regulatory agencies leading to reduced documentation and dwell time. Another issue faced by the trading community was the submission of physical copy of documents to different agencies. This has been addressed by introduction of e-sanction e-sanjit allows uploading of all supporting documents electronically doing away with the requirement of submission of physical copies of such documents documentation requirements were also critically examined and rationalized and only 3 documents are now needed in place of 10 documents the indian economy has been becoming increasingly integrated with the global economy rising trade volumes necessitated measures for efficient compliance management Authorized Economic Operator AEO program is one such program which aims to enhance international supply chain security and facilitate seamless movement of legitimate goods. India introduced a revamped AEO program in July 2016 and the number of AEOs have since gone up to 2100. The scheme offers a slew of benefits such as minimal intervention for compliant trade deferred payment of duty fast tracking of refunds and adjudications examination and assessment on priority etc from 30th november 2018 an online aeo portal has been launched for receipt of application and delivery of certification earlier inspection and examination norms used to be onerous these were again looked at objectively with a view to balancing compliance with facilitation With introduction of RMS risk management system it has been possible to substantially reduce levels of examination with relief for legitimate trade penetration of IT in other customs operations has also ensured glitch free processes 
and procedures. Customs clearance has also been made available 24 by 7. We have replaced officer supervised container stuffing with tamper proof RFID enabled electronic self sealing of containers by exporters themselves. E seal helps traceability and tracking of containers, especially during transit. Enhancing mutual cooperation with neighboring countries, Indian Customs has launched the electronic cargo tracking system. ECTS enabling off-border clearances. A number of other game-changing measures like direct port entry and direct port delivery have also been contributed to reduce the distance to the frontier. These reforms and associated benefits have been possible because of a change in the basic philosophy of administration from control and regulation to trust in stakeholders and voluntary compliance. At the same time, Improvement of the physical infrastructure of ports has been taken up in a big way for fast evacuation of cargo. These reforms have helped to achieve seamless wharf to warehouse transit in order to facilitate just-in-time manufacturing. These reforms have completely transformed the business landscape. Results are reflected in the reduced time and cost associated with imports and exports. The approach and effort of the Indian government is vindicated by the huge improvement in India's ranking in the Doing Business Report 2019 issued by World Bank Group. At Mumbai, for exports, the time taken by customs for clearance has reduced from 34 hours to just 12 hours. And in case of imports, from 71 hours to 24 hours. The time taken by port, border agencies has also reduced. Now, the total overall clearance time in case of exports is 54 hours and in case of imports is 102 hours. Transaction cost has reduced immensely with reduction of export cost by 98 US dollars and imports by 196 US dollars. The vision of the government for giving primacy to trade facilitation and ease of doing business and implementing policies in a cooperative ecosystem involving all stakeholders will continue to guide us in times to come. The goal is to build invisible borders with visible facilitation and compliance.